Hello friends, welcome. I'm going to start a new mini series about Vue Pina, and I'm going to use this project I have created for Vue Router, and you can find in my GitHub repository. So github.com slash laraveller slash Vue Router for tutorial. Go and clone that, and I have opened this in the VS Code, and here it is. Let's open the terminal and let's say npm run dev and if we open now this url on the browser we have the project but we need also to add so if we go to the movies we need to add the movies here so for that let's open the VS code and new terminal and say npx json dash server dash dash watch and we need to watch the database slash db dot json and we need to watch that in the port 8000 hit enter click yes Okay, now we have that localhost, and if we come here and refresh, we have movies. Okay, very good. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the navigation. I'm going to add a search and filter for the movies. For that, I have prepared this one, so I'm just going to copy that and add inside our source directory. We have components and we have this navbar. And I'm going to close this one now. And here, instead of this, I'm going to add what I have copied from there. Okay, if I save and come here in our project, yeah, we have something like, something like this. But we need to add links here. So... Okay, now here when we have the anchor tag, instead of that, we need to add the router link like this, which is going to go to the, this one is going to go to the home page because we have home here. This one is going to go to the about. So let's say router link and go to the about slash about. And the last one is for the movies. So this one, router link, go to the slash movies. And because if I open the routes index.js, we have added also the name. We can use names here. So instead of something like this, we can bind this one and say here, add an object with a name what name we have moved we have named so for example for this one which is movies we have named a movie list so let's add this name here and save go to the project refresh go to the about we are inside the about go to the movies yeah okay the first thing in this video i'm going to install Pina, and then go and work with this search because right now it's not doing anything. So if you go to the Vue.js.org and in the ecosystem here, we have Pina right here. So let's click, go to the get started and go here to the getting started. We need to install Pina. So let's, I have used in NPM, so I'm going to use NPM. If you have a yarn, you can use yarn. So let's copy that and go in the project, open the terminal. Okay, and here just paste what we have copied, npm install pina. Hit enter and it's going to install pina. Then we need to import the create pina from pina in our uh, 
mine.js, create a constant, an instance for the create pina, and then use that pina here. So let's do the same thing here in our project. I'm going to close this and open the mine.js. First, we need to import the create pina. So let's say import the create pina from pina. Then we need to create a instance of this of the create pina. So let's say constant. I'm going to name it pina, which is going to be equal with create pina function and we need to call that and then we can see, say use pina like this or we can create a constant for the app and say equal with the create app and add the app component here then say app.use Pina and also app dot use router and in the end remove what we have here and say app dot mount okay I'm going to zoom it like this I think you are okay now and let's save and let's see if everything works correctly refresh go to the about go to the movies, go to the home and of course if I click here, yeah. Okay friends, that's it for this video, how to install Pina and then we need to create a new store for our movies. We need to create a store for movies and then filter, show and do what we want with movies. So see you in the next video, all the best.